what is it about the VES, you know, that makes you so proud to be a member and to be affiliated with this group? Well, it's the people. And it's a very unique industry that we're in. And unless you're in it, you don't really understand mm -hmm. it. And it's wonderful to be with a, what, 5,000 now? People, strong, globally, that all understand that visual effects don't just happen. You know, people see, people see effects on televisions, they see all these incredible things happening, and a lot of it they don't even see because it's supporting effects and they don't even know they're there. And they just get, people get used to the fact that, oh, they can do anything. They don't understand the blood, sweat, and tears, the long hours, all the things that go into visual effects. But this community understands. And by coming together as one, we can share stories, we can, we can support each other, um, the VES is completely um, dedicated to uh, educating our members, to supporting our members, um, and for me, it's just a sense of it's just a sense of community. Community. I mean, it's such a yummy community. <laughs> That's the buzzword of the night. Uh, <laughs> do you have any particular go-to advice or lessons learned that you like to share with people who are aspiring to work in the field of visual effects? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I see it completely dedicated to bringing up the next generation. As my mother, who lived to be 95, always said, 100 years later, all new people. So we've got to be able to look to the next generation to carry on the tradition of, of you know, our, our industry. I would say persevere. I would say stay up to date on technology. And I'd also say find yourself a mentor. As chair of the archive committee, I film and watch a lot of these luminary videos. And so many of them say they got their start with a mentor. Phil Tippett, was Ray, Harry, was Ray, Ray Harryhausen was his mentor, John Knoll, Lauren Peterson was his mentor, Hal Hickel, Dennis Murin was his, his mentor, and all three of them said the same thing. Find yourself a mentor, somebody that can help you, help bring you up, and, help, and don't give up. How do you think the industry is doing uh, uh, as it revolves around being you know, becoming more inclusive and what would you like to see happen next? I think there are areas where women have had made great strides. There's a lot of female visual effects producers. Visual effects supervisors, not so much. Uh, there's a lot of visual effects uh, executives who are women. Um, but as far as the working people on the box and moving up to become supervisors, we still, we still have work to do. And also bringing women into visual effects as far as you know, technology and, and women in being, it starts in high school. Women have got to be, got to know that they can be technologists just as much as men. They shouldn't be afraid of math. They should be, you know, they shouldn't be told they can't do that. They don't think like that. So I think it's, it's reaching women when they're young, in high school, college, and letting them know that yes, you can do this too. Um, and that they can do it, and not just women all kinds of underrepresented people. Um, we're a diverse world, we're becoming more diverse all the time, so you know, everybody needs to be invited to the party. <laughs>